hello everyone welcome to my channel in this video we are going to discuss one day i wrote her name also known as sonnet 75 is written by edmund spencer edmund spencer is one of the most celebrated poets of english renaissance the poem one day i wrote her name is a love sonnet that explores the theme of immortality through art and language in this poem the speaker writes the name of his beloved on the sand but the waves quickly wash it away he then writes her name on a rock but time eventually wears it away as well the speaker laments the fleeting nature of the physical objects and realizes that they are subject to the ravages of time however he finds hope in power of his words which he believes will keep his beloved's name alive for eternity the poem is structured as a sonnet with 14 lines and the rhyme schema is a b a b b c b c c d c d and the last couplet couplet is e e the language is rich and poetic with a number of literary devices employed to create a sense of beauty and pathos overall one day i wrote her name is a timeless love poem that speaks to the power of language and art to transcend the limitation of time and mortality. The sonnet has several themes like love, mortality, the power of art and language, and the relationship between the physical and eternal. One of the main themes of poem is love, which is dep depicted as a power powerful force that can overcome the limitations of time and mortality. The speaker's love for his beloved is so strong that he believes it will survive even after both he and his beloved have passed away. Another important theme is mortality, which is portrayed as an ever-present force that erodes physical objects and memories. The speaker acknowledges the fleeting nature of human life and physical objects, but he finds solace in the idea that his words will outlast the physical world the power of art and language is also central theme which i think i have forgotten to mention in the slides but you can note it down the power of art and language is a central theme of the poem the speaker believes that by writing his beloved's name in his poetry can preserve, preserve her memory for all time. He sees his words as a way to trans transcend the limitation of the physical world and create something that is eternal. The final theme is, the final theme of the poem explores the relationship between the physical and the eternal. The speaker writes his beloved's name on the sand and on a rock which represent the impermanence and solidity of the physical world respectively. By contrast, his poetry represents the eternal and unchanging nature of art and language. The poem suggests that while the physical world may be transitory, art and language have the power to endure forever. So, one day I wrote her name has also employed certain poetic devices like metaphor the waves are compared to time as both have the power to erode and destroy physical objects this the speaker metaphorically compares his poetry to a living monument that will outlast even most solid rocks personification the waves are personified as having the ability to make the objects that they touch the speaker also personifies his time as a loving force that feeds on the on the rarities of nature's truth. Assonance is used to create a sense of unity and harmony in the poem, such as in the repetition of O sound in so long as men can breathe, our eyes can see. In poem we can found we can find the symbolism. The sand, rock, and waves are all symbolic of different 
aspects of the physical world and the passage of time. The poem also uses the symbol of the name itself, which represents the essence of the beloved and the power of memory. Overall, the use of figures of speech in, in the sonnet enhances the emotional impact of the poem and creates a sense of timelessness and universality. So this is all about sonnet One Day I Wrote Her Name, also known as Sonnet 75 by Edmund Spencer. Thank you very much for watching.